Hello everyone, this is Jainab Patani. I'm gonna be your today's tutor and yeah, today we'll be creating one game. The name of the game is Monkey Catching Banana. The monk that will be a monkey, it will be catching banana. It will be awarding stones and it will be catching hearts too. So let us start with the introduction of this platform. What is what's the name of this platform? The name of the platform is Scratch. Okay. Uh, in this left section if you see this is known as toolbox because it contains lots and lots of tools the middle section is known as workspace over we will be putting all the codes whatever the code we have put suppose I put more 10 steps so I'll be seeing its output over here in the, the extreme right uh, section which is known as stage if you see yeah my cat is moving 10 steps if I want to delete these codes I'll be just I'll be simply dragging it and I'll be putting it over here yeah suppose I wanna add a characters for example if I wanna delete it I'll be clicking on this bean I wanna add more characters uh, in scratch language these, these are known as sprites so we'll be uh, telling we'll be saying we'll be addressing it with the word sprite we'll be clicking on it and now I want monkey okay I got it banana it's over here. Rock. Okay. And one heart. Okay, perfect. I'll be also adding one background. The background, I think the perfect background would be. Let me search for it. Perfect background for this will be this forest. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this size of the heart as fifty or forty. Size of the rock as fifty. Size of the banana as sixty. And size of monkey as 50 I'll be putting my banana or oh, sorry monkey over here okay first let us write code for monkey so basically over here I'll be moving my monkey leftwards and rightwards okay I'll be also assigning it position so that whenever the game starts my monkey should be present over here so I'll be starting with when game flag clicked I'll be assigning it a position so I'll be putting go to so their position has been assigned if I change its position and click on green flag the position will be over here okay perfect now if I want it to move leftwards rightwards this is a continuous process so I'll be putting a forever loop forever loop what is a forever loop okay forever loop is a loop in which we whatever a code we put will run forever like no end infinite until and unless we click on red flag red flag is this one okay over here I'll be putting two if condition one two why because we'll be moving leftwards and rightwards I'll be putting touching um, ski space pressed if left okay le right and left so now moving rightwards and leftwards is horizontal movement so basically I'll be changing my horizontal axis and which one is my horizontal axis it's x axis so I'll be changing my x axis okay if I wanna move rightwards I'll be changing my x by positive number and if I wanna move leftwards I'll be changing my x by negative number so let's do it I'll be changing my x over here by positive 5 and over here negative 5 let's see how is it working I think it's working perfectly but I think it's slow so I'll make it 8 and minus 8 okay now I think it's perfect now what do we want now I wanna write a code that this banana should appear randomly over here so let's go to bananas code okay let's start writing the code that whenever green flag is clicked I'll be assigning it a position go to okay I'll be putting it over here okay what's the issue okay I put it over here I'm saying that I want the y-axis that means 
I want this banana to appear at this side but 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 I don't want it to appear at the same position I want it to appear randomly in X axis suppose so somewhere over here over here so I'll be simply putting random operator pick random and over here I'll be putting minus 200 to 200 what does this mean minus 200 means over here 200 means over here so it will appear randomly from this position to this position let's see how is it working okay y position it's minus 31 let's make it 165 now let's see see it's working so perfectly now what do i want now it is uh, I i'm done with assignment of position now i want it to move downwards so i'll be simply putting a forever loop i'll be changing my y axis this my this time because y axis vertical movement vertical axis so change y change y by of course negative number if i'm going upwards then i'll be changing my y by positive number if i'm going downwards then i'll be changing my y by negative number let's see how is it working okay it's going downwards okay now it has stopped i want it uh, to be a continuous process that whenever it uh, uh, go touches this edge i want it to go back to this position again so i'll be putting an if condition that if 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 i'll be putting an is equal to operator because I'll be saying if my x position gets to what's the x position what's the y position over here minus 187 so whenever my y position gets to minus 187 okay I have to go to motion and I'll be putting y position over here whenever my y position gets to minus 187 I want it to go back to this position again so I'll be simply duplicate it I'll be simply duplicate it instead of writing the tool code again okay I think this is working perfectly okay this is moving a bit slower so let's make it minus 9 to make it a bit difficult okay I think this is perfect or minus 10 yeah this is perfect now what do I want whenever this banana touches the monkey or whenever the, this monkey touches the banana I want my score to increase so I'll be making a score variable so I'll be going to variables. I'll be making a variable score. Now what is variable? Variable is a container in which we can store a value. Okay, store score is a container, zero is the value. Whenever the game starts, whenever green flag is clicked, I want to set my variable as zero. So whenever the game starts, my variable will be zero. Set my score to zero also 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 since this is a forever since this is a continuous process i'm putting a forever loop oh yeah, i'll be putting a condition that if it touches monkey if it touches monkey if it touches monkey then what then of course i'll be increasing my score right so i'll be just saying if it is touching monkey then i'll be increasing my score by one or maybe ten let's do it ten change my score by ten let's see how is it working okay okay score is increasing but it is go increasing by not 10 might be 100 200 that is because it isn't hiding after touching it so again I'll be saying after increasing the score go back to this position now see okay okay now it's working perfectly now we are done with this small thing can we put some sound effect yes why not so we'll be putting a sound effect over here so first uh, i'll be going to sound and i'll be just saying play sound by so it will be working like this way perfect now what do i want now i'll be writing a code for my rocks okay so whenever the so basically this monkey has to avoid this rock if it touches the rock then the health will be decreased so i'll be making a uh, health variable okay first let's put an animation to this rock so first let's assign it as a uh, position i'll be putting it over here when green flag clicked go to this position again i'll be putting a random operator because i want it to appear randomly okay randomly at which axis x axis of course so we are be putting minus 200 and we are be putting 200 now since this is a continuous process 
then forever loop after putting a forever loop i want it to go downwards so i will be changing my y axis by negative number so change y by minus 12 okay the to the rock has stopped over here so again i'll be putting if condition if condition what whenever my y position gets to what okay let's say whenever my y position gets to minus 172 whenever my y position gets to minus 172 so what i'll be doing is i'll be again saying that go back to this position go back to this position nothing else so I have created an animation over here. Okay, this is working so perfectly. Now I'll be creating another variable which is health. I'm done with creating a health variable. So basically, how do I want? Whenever the game starts, I want my health to be 100. So whenever game flag is clicked, I'll be making, I'll be setting my health to what? Of course, 100, right? Now what? Since this is a continuous process, I will be putting a forever loop. Okay, in this forever loop, I will be saying that if, if, if it is touching what? If it is touching monkey. If it is touching monkey, then what? Then of course uh, my health will be decreasing, right? Not hurt, it's monkey. So I will be changing my health by negative 25. Minus 25. Okay, this is going perfect. Let's see how it's working. Okay, working perfectly. Again, I'll be saying that go back to this position. And I'll be playing some sound. Start sound this. Pop. Perfect. Now what I want is... Okay. First let's come to this um, afterwards let's write code for this heart so same code again i'll be assigning it as a position okay over here when game flag clicked i'll be assigning the position go to again a random operator minus 200 to 200 now what do i want again a forever loop why because this is a continuous process I'll be changing my y by negative number. Why? Because I want it to go downwards. I'll be changing my y by minus 1 because I want it to go downwards slowly and slowly. Now, let's see. Okay, now it will take a lot of time to go downwards. So I'll make it minus 10. Okay, it has stopped over here. The uh, y axis is minus 187. So I'll be putting an if condition that hey, hey, hey. If my y axis gets to minus 187, minus 187, then go back to this position. But what what gets to minus 187? Y axis. So I have to write down this. And now again, go back to this position. I'll be putting it over here. I'll be deleting rest of it. Perfectly. But I don't want this to go so fast towards. So I'll be putting minus 1 over here. Now what I'll be doing is now what do I want is whenever this monkey touches the heart or whenever this heart touches the monkey I want my health to get 100 so what I'll be doing is when game flag clicked set okay again a forever loop again an if condition in this if condition I'll be telling if it is touching what if it is touching monkey if it touches monkey then set my scope set my score or health health set my sc health to 100 and also go back to this position and we can put some cheer sound so let's get that sound cheer let's put it play sound cheer okay let's see how it's working Okay, it's a bit slower, so I'll make it minus 110. Working so perfectly. Now what do I want? Now I'll be writing a code that when, I, when the game get ends, so whenever my health gets to zero, my game will end. So I'll be writing a code that, hey, when game flag clicked,
forever loop because this is a continuous process i'm putting a condition that hey if my health gets to zero if my health gets to zero i'll be putting a variable health over here then what then of course i'll be broadcasting game over game over and what else I broadcasted game over. Now computer will get a message of game over, but computer doesn't know that what to do when it receives this message game over. So we'll be telling computer that when you receive game over, then what? Then you have to um play some sound. Okay, so I'll be forgetting one sound, lose sound. I'll be just playing it sound. Start sound loose. I'll be just putting up a message that game over. Game over. And yeah, I'll be stopping everything. So I'll be just going to control and stop other scripts in sprite. Okay. Similarly, I'll be stopping over here. So when I receive game over, stop other scripts in sprite. Stop the session sprite. I'll be just copying it and pasting it to monkey and banana. Let's see how is it working. Okay, heart is so fast. We'll make heart as minus one. Now we'll run the game. touch this heart okay this is working so perfectly I hope you understood all the code all the concept and all the logic and I also hope you have enjoyed this lecture so yeah this is Jainam Patani signing off mm -hmm.